Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. Uh, this is the story of Hermetheus, a young um, advocate of Akatosh who made it out into the world in order to cleanse it of the undead scum that was responsible for the death of his wife. And we've been busy in between the sessions, not uh, ultimately too busy, but I prepared a couple of things because we will have quite a full uh, session. I want to go through um, Kronvagar Cave as far as possible at least. Uh, that will be spider uh, time. Um, afterwards we received our um, mail back uh, from unearthing, so Solstheim uh, will be a short stop. Uh, we need to uh, free up uh, the grave uh, there from a couple of draugers. Then I already discovered Bleak Falls Barrow and we additionally have discovered silent moon camp by thinking about it maybe we start this episode actually with uh, silent moon's camp because there is a weapon that is near and dear to my heart uh, by the name of bouncer and that could go a long way you know what before i move too far it's spider time now and afterwards we're going to get bouncer and then we'll do all of the other shenanigans. Uh, the only uh, thing to note is I went through the dungeons that we had ha have had, purchased a couple of master uh, rings and just opened the adept expert uh, chests. Uh, we got ourselves a nice ring, uh, uh, which regenerates magicka and a pair of boots, our first magical item here uh, with increased stamina. I hope that that uh, should be sufficient. The second info for you would be I brew some potions because uh, dark elves do have uh, the ability to brew potions, although they are not skilled in it. So we got some health regeneration here and we got uh, some self-brewed recuperation potions better than nothing and it's a really cheap way of uh, solving the problem uh, which is the reason why we still have almost 5,000 gold pieces we'll need that in order to fund the expedition further so without further ado mace in hand here we go all right time to get going Prepared a little something for you guys. Oh boy. The frame rates. Holy moly. It's almost like zero frame rates. It must be something with the spiders here. Flame cloak works well, unfortunately we're now highly poisoned. I think we've killed them all. I think we've killed them all. Those frame rate drops, I don't understand it. Might be the amount of small spiders here, not sure. I never had problems with uh, the frame rate in, in Skyrim. But something is wrong for sure.
I think it's the amount of small spiders. So we collected uh, stuff out of the chests and I noticed that one of our bigger weaknesses is the lack of AOE damage. So I tried to compensate for that as much as I could. Careful, we do have low stamina now. And low frame rate, both of which are deadly. Wow, this is near unplayable. Let's hope killing a few of these small ones will increase the frame rate again. I did have a few more bolts. This time ice. Wow, that was something else. The fight was mainly bad due to the amount of lag that we had. Not so much due to anything else. I mean, having a spider dungeon is fine, but it needs to work with a fr uh, frame rate. Time for us to go in a bit deeper, this time with resist potions. Good, now the frame rate has stabilized, so I think my theory with just too many enemies was a correct one. I'll save some of the remaining elemental bolts. Yeah, no point in doing that. I've just used the last one. Spiders are much weaker as ranged combatants compared to their melee capabilities. And I don't want to be stuck with them in a melee duel. Well. If I shoot like that, melee is the only option. Careful, let's not fall down.
Alright, one down. And one more to go. XP is decent. I think that's fine. We're out of AoE. We do have another poison if needed. Let's not fall down, shall we? Ah! Oh, I knew why I was brewing all of those stamina regeneration potions. So our stamina is regenerating. Let's just double check. But I think we've looted them all. I do have a disturbing feeling that this is not the end of it. There must be a mother spider. Good, heavy armor in water drains a lot of stamina. We want to do the brood layer? Yeah, why not? Let's give it a try. smaller ones are still okay the bigger ones are the problem Paralysis, of course, is a big problem. The trick is to focus on one field and just stay there and wait until the poison wears off.
Well, hello there. Heavily poisoned and definitely drained out of stamina. We are slowly but surely making our way into the hive. Uh, I think it's fair to say that we would want to have some increased healing and uh, health and the moment that uh, the spider mother is coming in. Oh yeah. That's the moment where we take the resist poison potion. It's poison is bad, but it's not as bad as I would have thought it is. And she's stuck in this room, and I am for sure not going to explore that room. We have enough ammunition, and I don't fancy myself going toe to toe with the spider just yet. Oh, she's quick. But so are we. Almost downed her. There we go. Two diamonds, couple of inside potions, and we got a staff out of it. Lightning shackles, not bad. Another potion of recuperation. That might actually be quite good. Let's see, so... We're having 109 points of damage plus frost damage uh, versus hmm. I like what I'm seeing. I think we're going to keep that for a bit before handing it in. Good. With that sword, we do have a pretty potent weapon and it frees up some more weight because it is also ultra light. Might put that away and use it for a while. Uh, but I don't think we should go there. If I remember correctly, there were a couple of vampires in here and I really don't feel like tangoing with them. We're not strong enough, our resistances are not good enough and we most certainly don't deal enough damage at the moment. So, base case, we would potentially get eaten alive. Let's increase our skills. We got quite a few points actually. I figured out uh, that alchemy works even without taking perks in it, so that in itself is great. We got block, one-handed, heavy armor, 
We don't need to take marksmanship, so that won't be necessary. Destruction 25, restoration 25, good. So we can continue. I think the next big breakpoints, let's see. What do we want in terms of perks? I mean, we want uh, restoration. That would be good. Heavy armor could help us, but 50 isn't needed yet. I think one-handed weapon actually would benefit quite a bit from it. Very would allow us to attack even faster. So that would be a good investment. Restoration 50 wouldn't be bad either for the Magicka regeneration. I tell you what. I think we're going for restoration first and we'll take one hand afterwards. Good. Skills are increasing slower now, but in all fairness, the rampage that we just did uh, through the spider cave gave us quite a few insights. Continuing to increase Magicka. And I think we wanted to go with Restoration. Yeah, it's the most sensible choice. Apprentice Restoration. Let's see. I mean, Funeral Rites would be fantastic. I like that. Sunfire wouldn't be bad either. Specifically when we're now fighting against undeads. Heal self level 2 would be good as well. But we currently still have the ability to heal ourselves via potions. And I think Funeral Rites and Sunfire make for convincing arguments. Let's put them in. Sunfire, Funeral Rites. Yeah. Still trying to find a good combination that makes sense. Heal, heal. Yeah, let's go with six for now. Good. S for Sunfire. Costs a lot of magic, huh? But should be fairly effective. Almost 100 points of sun damage to any undead. I like it. Can't chain cast it, but it is a decent uh, start for our undead hunting career. We're going to unload a bit of our equipment. Next stop uh, now would be fighting the actual first few undeads. Oh no, we wanted to get Bouncer. Um... I will do that regardless. Let's do Bouncer now because it's a great fight. We still have carry uh, carry weight left over. So, yeah. Let's do Bouncer now. See you there. Time to tango with Ron the Crow. And apparently these bandits have aggroed Mammoth. Well, that's a stupid idea, buddy. Quick in and out, and he's dead. Now, the real question is, can we maybe use that to our advantage? Oh, 
Alright, let's just stay near uh, with the mammoth. Don't aggro them. That's what I was thinking. Let's get our sword in hand. Come on, guys. Come on. I'm just waiting for another explosive arrow, or one that is missing the mark. Oh, now all of a sudden you can fire arrows, yeah? Well, I tell you what, I got my mammoth friends here. Don't tell me the AI is smart enough to understand that I'm trying to bait them. Yeah, move in that direction, dude. The mammoth just doesn't want to move in the direction that I'm telling him to. Might be the size and weight difference. Alright, enough toying around. Time to do this the proper way. I think the mammoth... Oh, they are over there, okay. There we go, finally! After a long and daunting period of waiting, the mammoth have finally entered the combat. Oh boy, you guys are screwed. <laughs> First one immediately goes down. One takes a nice little hit. sure if I killed him or not but Ron just died and yes it was my shot that killed him bouncer thank you full steel armor even better and we're taking that sword Couple more silver bowls. Good, I think there is one more enemy.
three spirit wolves. They will come in handy later when I will need extra summonings. All right, trickster. She made sure to use half of her scrolls before going down. And a few smithing increases. Okay, cool. Amulet of Stendar, helpful, but we got a better one. And an overall okay chest. Some uh, smithing increase and we got a Lunar Sword. I think that one was uh, dealing ad additional damage during the night, right? Moon Coat Swiss Light, it contains uh, victims in searing flames, dealing 35 damage for one second. It's actually not too bad. It has just a very low base damage, but we can disenchant it. We can disenchant it once I'm back. I'll get I'll get that stuff and we have Bouncer, another 101 damage weapon, which is great. Uh, does have the ability to knock targets back, which isn't too bad. So definitely an upgrade to our Elven uh, Mace, if I might say so. And, you know, whilst we're on it, might as well leave our Elven Mace here. Because we got Bouncer. A bit slower, but overall decent damage. And, yeah, here we go. Let me do some enchanting, or disenchanting rather, and then we'll uh, jump right into the next segment of action. Good, we are finding ourselves near Corbion Burrow. Uh, Unbarrow Quest uh, Part 1. And there seems to be a really, really strange weather phenomena going on in Solstein. Not sure what exactly it is, but we're definitely going to go into the crypt time to start engaging I think I'll resort back to power attacks. Okay, we got a shouter, and the shout deals reasonable amount of uh, reasonable amount of damage. I need a bit more room to maneuver. Good, their arrows are not really a problem. Let's just double check something real quick. Silver bolts, okay.
stupid shout. But that's not dealing enough damage. Yeah, we're here with uh, stamina management. And I hear another shout. Oh well. They hit reasonably hard. I definitely need to get the stamina back up. Alright, bring it on. I'm hearing another drawer somewhere. Block that shout. Okay, let's just double check real quick. Did we kill all of the drawers? Good. We use the master key there. Master key for greater insight is a fair trade. Could have been a better loot, but okay. I think, by the way, if my memory serves me well, we do have this here now. Which means, in fairness, once we are done with that here... We can get most of our Magicka back. Good, so Draugr's are possible now, which is great. That's good news. bit more looting and I think I'll get a new axe because currently we're still not able to recharge them but there are plenty of new silvery axes uh, lying around in the Dawn Guard headquarter so I'll just check in there in the meantime how about Checking our new find. It's a bit of a shame that we uh, immediately exchanged one of the other boots that we found earlier, but uh, we would have 5% less cost for spells, that's great. 40% stamina, uh, immune to most slow effects, and ability to walk on waters. Which is just fantastic. Those boots itself are ludicrously good. So, that is that. We got ourselves a nice little first exploration of a rune. And we worked reasonably well against the Draugrs. Let's just do a quick increase of skills, shall we? And I think we wanted 
restoration first. I'll leave it here for now. We need to slowly transition into those greater essences. Uh, I still feel we're a bit short on Magicka, so we'll improve that. Also, definitely need to improve health. I think this here will go a long way. And our next large increase would be 30 Magicka, which is great. And 50% less Magicka when struck, which is also going to be super important for us. The power of life. That's a 75 uh, perk. But it might be something that could be quite valuable for us. Uh, basically circling between self-healing um, and, and the ability to wield a shield. That combined with uh, magnitude uh, for healing spells... Uh, increased and healing also restores stamina could be a final solution for our stamina uh, problem so that in itself is a very very strong tree for paladin um, we still need perks for destruction because we want to go into that as well and eventually alteration uh, so plenty more to uh, come on this build here is a bit more um perk hungry than the other ones i'm not yet fully convinced uh, which focus we should uh, put on but we'll find that out uh, as time goes by Any luck? good well, so we finished this now, one here we'll have to sweeten the pot yep two thousand gold I pieces thank you It'll take me a few days to dig up some more okay rings, swing back. i'll take a look at the overall timing real quick looks like we still have time for a bit more content so uh, let's move on to our next task next location we are uh, focusing on the forsaken cave to retrieve uh, the wide vial by the way if this huge weather phenomena i think one of uh, the cloud textures might be buggy. I don't know. It doesn't bother me too much. But the northern lights are upon uh, the landscape of Skyrim. That's for sure. Okay. Forsaken Cave. We got to find that vial. And if my memory serves me well, there might be a couple of nasty casters here. So let's load the right bolts. Which would be that. An ice wraith. Okay. Yeah, let them fight even better. I'll take a safer position. And whilst we're at it, already chipping away at the bear. <laughs> it is hit his rear end nicely. Typically, I would kite him around the pillar, but since they so neatly position themselves, might as well do it that way. I could definitely use uh, the Ice Wrath Essence. I might have been wrong. We might fight some more undeads. Oh yeah, that very much looks like it. We 
before we're progressing any further silver bolts there we go you can already see the traps going off He got one hit in. How did I not dodge that? Okay, funeral rites come in handy. Lots of uh, poison uh, arrows that will shoot out of this one. Yeah, too much weight for us, but that would be some good loot uh, to disenchant. Oh, come on, Saiken, you can do better than that. You almost got yourself killed. Holy shit, I'm unhappy with that. Against stupid droggers. That was sloppy, unnecessarily sloppy if I might say so. They still hit too hard uh, to kind of take them lightly. So we better take that uh, one here very seriously. Yeah, this definitely looks like one of uh, these places where a few droggers will come. Oh, we're full, okay. Good. Well, we'll need the mana a little bit later. I was trying to be cheeky there with the last uh, dodge. Didn't work out. At least we're almost independent uh, of other things besides magical regeneration. As you can see, we're doing reasonably well with the funeral rites and just normal health and magical regeneration. It's actually quite encouraging. So before we go any further, let's make sure all of this here has been taken care of. Uh, 
There is definitely another Draugr. And I want to backtrack to the door. I don't know the dungeon here by heart. It has been a while since I did the... White while. Yeah, that's more like it. Not getting hit at all. Dancing around them and basically killing them. Okay, so he was already dead. Fair enough. Let's regain some stamina. And try the same thing right here. We'll come back to you guys in a second. I want to make sure we're exploring that door first. Well, I think I'll come back with um, a knock scroll to that one. Never mind, that was just, just quote-unquote treasure. Careful with the stamina management. And certainly careful with his dual wielding, uh, two-handed wielding, because that guy hits hard if he ever lands a blow. I remember those plates. Yep. I still think that the normal strikes on a pure stamina adjusted base are the most efficient ones. Getting slight graphical glitches here as well. Let's kick this off. Couple more Draugr fights. Gotta work on that stamina for the love of God. Let's try a different food. Summoner regeneration remains to be the issue of this character here. Self healing is okay by now. And also the mana regeneration generally seems fine. Yeah. 
not dodging attacks definitely remains a problem, but that's more player issue. So far, so good. Avoided most of the Draugr problems here. to run. His spells hit very hard. But he seems to be stuck. Yeah, he's coming around just want to get a few good hits off of uh, first. Okay, more dangerous. We're definitely lacking proper frost resistance. But we do have a couple of temporary buffs. The boss in this dungeon, if I recall correctly, had a huge frost breath as well. One that was draining a lot of health. So gotta be careful with that. To A, not get hit and B, have enough frost resistance. I could get off a second cast. That would be fantastic. Barely enough mana to do two. Good, we're getting closer. much time in between the swings the power attack opens us up for counter attacks we go that was another potential counter attack ah, smart move I like it the guy did a dual attack Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Let's re poison our weapon. This here is going to be the final room, the boss battle. I'd like to start with full stamina. And since he has a nasty, nasty frost shout, we're going to take that potion of frost resistance. I want to get his shout cooldown. Oh, he's toying with the idea of using that again. All right, need somewhere to move. This guy is shouting soon. Okay. That could have easily gone the other way. His shout is incredibly deadly. But we blocked him nicely here with uh, running over the trap. Gosh, these guys are tough as nails. Careful, Saiken. Don't get overzealous. Normal swings to deal with these stamina problems. Okay. Three more drogers. Oh, three dead. Oh, 
kind of shout would we be learning here? Frost likely, right? Marked for death. Cool. Well, I still haven't figured out what kind of shout we would take on this character. Again, he's not the Dragonborn, uh, hence he gets only one shout. I would likely pick something with regeneration, maybe, to fit uh, the overall idea. That's good. And look, I mean, we got a couple of really nice potions right here. Specifically the few more expensive items to make sense to take. Since we're almost at the load limit, I can't take much more than that, but I suppose a really decent dungeon, all things considered. I tell you what, it has been a bit, so might as well just level up and call it an episode here. So we're getting restoration all the way to 50. That's great. Besides restoration, I think what would make sense is one hand it definitely would make a bit of sense, but heavy armor equally would make sense. Just to be able to cast in heavy armor and have less stamina problems. So we're get we're putting heavy armor to 50 next. And I would even go restoration above and beyond and use the greater insights for now that we do have, but that'll be a long journey. Uh, the Draugrs are dropping some, but not many. Some more Magicka. Definitely some more health because we're still squishy. Two perks on the other hand, that's great. Perk Hung rebuilt, getting perks. That's good. So enhanced Magicka. 30 additional magicka gets us closer to where we want to be. Look, we could get adept restoration with 50 or cool, uh, a few cool adept restoration spells. I'm wondering if that is the best use. 160 magicka doesn't, and we don't have the heavy armor perk yet to even cast that. Uh, so alternatively, we could invest to, into flat poison resistance as a passive. Very will only be available at 50. So will some of the one hand perks. I mean, we could start alteration slowly but surely. It's actually another school that I should definitely get to 25 because there are a few perks uh, simply here. Magic, uh, are a magic resistance, which would be incredibly helpful for the type of content that we want to do sooner than later. So I think we're going to go with alteration next as a branch out. Candlelight is helpful. Detect life is helpful. Magic armor, I wait for rank number two. So 
let's get a detect uh, live going these are all helpful buffs that we could get right away so let's see if we can even cast uh, them candlelight and detect live Easy, easy. With candlelight, uh, things are going to look smoother from the visuals. And Detect Life is a really good uh, spell. I like being able to see through walls. Um, I'll go in and uh, get a couple of keys for the expert and adept uh, lock door. And we'll let you know what we find. And that is the end of today's episode. Thank you so much. Uh, Hermetheus definitely uh, waves a friendly goodbye as we have cleared our first Draugr dungeons and quite successfully so are on our way to hopefully finish the vial, the white vial, or progress that further. Um, if you enjoy uh, playing a paladin, uh, then give it uh, by the love of, uh, of Stendar. Give it a nice thumbs up. He will thank you as well and see you in the next episode. Bye bye guys.